Multiplayer is an integral part of the Killzone experience. I think it's been quite a tough goal in some ways to change it enough to make it fresh, but not enough to make it feel like a different game. It's a really engaged community built up around the Killzone franchise, and especially the multiplayer. And Killzone has always been a benchmark title for PlayStation. We set our goals very, very high on the beta. One of the most important things for me, and I think is quite new within any first person game, is the ability to take your character between single player and multiplayer environments. Things that you have earned and unlocked in a single player game will carry over into multiplayer as soon as you go in there and you can use those things so you're not at that disadvantage of fighting against somebody who's got all the kit unlocked. And also it's very important when people are in an offline state that they can play the single player and then continue to develop. Even if they don't currently have a Wi-Fi connection available, they can pick up and play single player and everything they do is still contributing for their loadouts and they're still contributing to their overall Valor score and statistics. We support character rank, as you'd expect, but that can stagnate. People stop playing the game, but their rank doesn't deteriorate. So we created a, a system called the Valor Card. When you first uh, load up the game, you'll be issued your first Valor Card. And from then on, every day, you will receive an update how quickly and how efficiently you're earning money in the game, be that single player, multiplayer, or both. In multiplayer, we actually compete for Valor Cards. So when you kill someone, they will drop their Valor Card. If you kill the higher ranked players, you'll actually earn more money than killing like lowly twos. You actually build up a Valor Card deck um, we award quite a large amount of money. And by creating specific hands like a Royal Flush or a full house or a full deck, you can actually earn big cash rewards. A big portion of the game uh, revolves around you earning uh, money, vectin dollars, to actually buy the equipment that you then use in the missions. In single player, we allow you a single loadout slot. In multiplayer, we uh, allow a number of them which unlock over time. New weapons, new armor, new grenades, new vanguards. We have a mechanism called Vanguard Capsule which gets fired into the environment and if you can reach it and open it, uh, you get a one-shot Vanguard weapon. It's a weapon you can't use all the time, but will be a game changer when it, when it happens. Everything in the game has a counter if somebody else is equipped with it, where someone will be absolutely beasting at the start, then the other team will change their loadout up and all of a sudden they've got the counters there to deal with it. I, I hope that it's a multiplayer experience for everyone.